What was that? <laughs> Did you exit? see it? It was like, what the f I have to see that again. Hey, everyone. Dio, the generational hater. Have you guys seen it? Because we haven't. All right, let's jump into it. Take a step, I dare you. So he tries to climb it, but he keeps on climbing the same stair over and over and over again. What? Dio's like, wow, what's wrong? You on 400 pink or something? You know what? While you struggle with your lag spikes, I'm going to sit in this chair that's conveniently here right over this staircase. <laughs> I know Dia, but only because of the memes. I have no idea who it is. Gets a tractor and like smashes it on someone. A tractor? Yeah, and he's like, right, muda, 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 muda. Gentlemen, it is finally okay. time to return to the round table of Black Air. The best way to explain it. Okay. Our greatest challenger I'm looking forward to it. Approach, to be judged and to take his rightful seat at this sacred table of menaces. And it is none other than the greatest hater in anime history, Dio. The king of hating ass niggas, the pettiest of the petty, probably one of the greatest ops of all time. This man is truly Black Air Force incarnate. So bro, I ain't even gonna waste no time with this one. So y'all already know we got the evidence on deck. All and right. it is finally time to observe the generational hater. That pose so, though. Further ado, <laughs> exhibit A. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you exhibit A, Dio Brando. So to understand why this man has the most out-of-pocket hatred, we got to go all the way back to 1880. So Dio oh, started off uh. in the trenches. Man was playing chess for money, getting beat up in the bar, and living in this old-ass shack, so bro hella down bad. So his dad is dying, right? So he tells him, <laughs> When I die, take this letter to the Joestar family. Now you see them niggas owe me a debt. <laughs> I tell you, they some rich-ass motherfuckers too. So you know what to do. Rob them niggas. Take every last cent. Make Pappy proud. So he dies, so Dio's at the cemetery. And he's like, hmm, about damn time your old ass died. I ain't gonna lie, I fucking hated you. you oh, oh. You were to die. You was a piece of shit. Oh. So you can eat a dick, old nigga. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Dio pulls up to the Joestar mansion. So Jonathan's like, hi, my name's Jonathan. This is my dog, Danny. So Dio's like, that's your dog? Yeah, isn't he great? Shit, nigga, fuck your dog. dog. Oh, what? Bro, somebody called Peter. This nigga just take and need the dog. Bro, ain't even been what? here for a minute. He's already starting shit. What the fuck? Him, bro, he already ready to scrap. So the dad come out and he like, yo, what are y'all doing? And Dio's like, oh, I am terribly sorry. That filthy animal was in my personal space. So George tells Jonathan, I right, listen, Dio's gonna be living here from now on. So Jonathan goes oh. over to touch his bag, but Dio grabs his hand and elbows him in the chest. Dude, he comes down he is kind like, of an this asshole. Is little, this is my house now. I run this bitch. So I wanna hear from your little spoiled ass. I'm about to make your life hell. So as time goes on, Why? Damn. Together, Jonathan's having this boxing match. So the ref's like, hey, uh, just to let you know, your opponent got changed. Huh? Yeah, you will be fighting him. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Round one. Fight. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, he can't even oh, hit him. Shit. And a beautiful body shot uh, landed by Dio. And a beautiful right straight ooh. to the jaw. Hey, oh. Well, damn. You lose. My God, yo, this man just washed him in front of his hometown. So after Dio humiliated Jonathan, Jonathan started talking to, you know, Arena and everything. So this man Dio decided to do the pettiest. He pulls up on her and says, hey, you Jojo girl, he been looking a little happy lately. And I don't like that a bit. Oh, no. Yo, oh my God. what the hell? He says, oh, he you pulled thought the first kiss was going to be with Jojo? Nah, it was with me, nigga. Cut up Dio down. So later on, Jonathan ends up running up on Dio. And bro's like, how dare you raise your voice at me? You should learn some respect. So he elbows him in the uh -oh. nose. Bro's like, hey, hey, stupid little nigga. Wow. You just because I raised up your girl real good. But then Jonathan just started laying the hands on him. Hit this man with the Dempsey roll. So Dio's like, oh. How dare you lay your hands on my beautiful <laughs> face? I swear to God, I'm gonna shake your ass! Oh! George ends up stopping him. So Dio's like, 
think you're getting away with this. I don't take L's. So later on, the butler is walking outside and he's at the furnace and he sees this box. So he's like, oh, it's just a box. So he lights the furnace. Oh but my God. then something start banging. Oh my God. So then later on in the day, they having a funeral. Cause the dog was in the furnace. No! Yo! Oh Yo! This man. What the fuck? This guy is straight up. He is evil. That's so rude. That yeah. was crazy. How? He came into his house, disrespected yeah. his dog, That's so took dumb. his girl. Yep. Dude, if the dad's like, oh, it must have been an accident. I'm going to yeah, be like, yeah. dad, I'm sorry, but like, you're fucking stupid. Yeah. <laughs> this guy, since he's gotten here, has fucked everything up. He sucks. God damn. And Dio put the dog in the furnace. To That's so vile. Oh so a couple of years Unforgivable. Pass, they end up becoming friends. Oh, really what? Because this man Dio was fake as hell. Oh, so okay. George Joestar has gotten sick and he has a very bad. Why do they look so So the thing is, is Dio <laughs> has been giving this man medicine the whole time, but <sighs> not his real medicine. This man has been poisoning him the entire time. Oh and then God. Jonathan uh -huh. figured out, wait a minute. Didn't your dad have the same symptoms too? <gasps> oh my God, you killed your father. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh. So then Dio's like, are you trying to press me right now? So he ends up swinging on Jonathan, but Jonathan just ate that John. Oh. He was like, bro, you best get to stepping out of my house. So he ends up throwing him off the balcony. So Damn. Jonathan's like, you a fake ass nigga. And I'm calling the cops. You need to leave. So Dio ends up dipping, but he takes the stone mask. So later on, he out here drunk as hell. So he ends up running into these two dudes. So bro smacks him in the jaw. Oh. And he's like, mm, this is a perfect time. Time to test out this stone mask. So he puts it on this dude and runs him into the other dude. So it stabs him. So then the mask activates with the blood. And he done turned this man into a whole vampire. So the dude starts to choke him out. But that top of the morning end up getting his ass. Oh, God. So oh. disintegrated. Dio pulls back oh, up to he's the a vampire. House. So Jonathan runs up yeah. on him. He was like, yeah, I done figured out you've been poisoning my dad. So Dio's trying to plead his case. Then speed wagon in the corner like, I, I, I don't trust that nigga with his old cap and ass. And then George is behind the curtains. Oh. So Dio's like, well. I ain't got nothing to lose now. Bring me that ass. So he ends up stabbing George. And he's like, <laughs> yes, it's Morbin Tom. So they end up shooting him and Dio ends up going out the window. So about a minute later, while everybody thinking he dead, they're like, uh, why is his body gone? <laughs> and he rips this man's head clean what? off. And now he's a whole ass vampire. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. So bro just started bodying everybody in the house. Oh my god. So then he goes over to fight Jonathan, but he ends up burning him. But obviously that ain't do nothing. He just shrugged it off. And yo, look at this man walking up the wall like what? a Louis <laughs> Vuitton. <laughs> wow. Nigga said, Kim, Dude. Can't this shit on me. And look at Jonathan. He like, oh my god. His zestiness is too strong. So man's had to tackle him all the way from the roof and impale this man on a spear so he can finally burn the ass. Damn. Up. Obviously. Obviously, that's not the, that's end. Not the end. So after this, Dio does a bunch of shenanigans. First off, this man turned Jack the Ripper into a vampire. So then he goes over and takes over this entire village, turned basically almost everybody into zombies, kidnapped this little boy's sister, stepped on this dog. What uh, the f is that, bro? Yeah, like, what's his yeah, problem? What the, and then, that, that wasn't a dog. Oh boy, this is probably the cat, worst thing this man ever did. <laughs> So no, he, it wasn't. That's what it was. Dog. Oh. What the f is that, bro? Like, honest to God. Oh, that's what it then, is. <laughs> oh, boy. This is probably the worst thing this man ever did. So he got this lady and her baby up here. So she's like, please, please just spare my child. And Dio's like, <laughs> bitch, please. Who you think I is? Your baby daddy? I ain't got time to take care of your damn kid. So he turns her into a zombie and makes her eat her baby. What the <laughs> Wow. No, I'm done. No. This is probably the first time I've ever done this, but I don't care. Go ahead and sit down. Yeah. yeah. He's one of the worst we've seen. Holy shit. I have ever seen besides, besides when Boo faded niggas in heaven, this is right behind <laughs> yeah. it. What the Dude, what the hell? Nah, 
bro. We ain't even done with Exhibit A. And I just oh my God, we're again. still on Exhibit A. I would say, say shut the case fast, file. Fast, yeah. Skip the line. <laughs> bro said, yeah, I'll spare my. So after a bunch of traumatic ass events, Jonathan finally pulls up on Deal. So he's like, wow, congratulations. You beat all of my sub bosses. Tell me, tell me real quick. How's that Zeppeli pack hitting? So then they about to scrap, but Dyer comes in and he's like, no, this is my fight. So he jumps up to kick him, but Dio grabs both oh my of God. his legs and oh. makes him do the split. Then he freezes his entire body. Oh. Then he says, you know, men shouldn't do the splits, right? Because that's how you break your bones. Oh, oh my God. You broke shattered this man's oh. body. So then Jonathan comes in and slices him in half with his sword. But Dio's like, <laughs> you really thought that old bullshit was going to work? Say psych right now. Let me tell you something right now. Oh. Yo, I'm on training is ass. You are ass. So then Dio jumps at him, but Jonathan hits him with this 10 oh. fucking punch. Holy shit. So Jonathan's kind of badass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He ignited his whole so fist. Some time passes. So Jonathan and Arena end up getting married. So while they are on their honeymoon, Jonathan ends up seeing one of Dio's assistants. So he runs after him and they end up going to this casket. So bro opens the casket and he pulls Dio. Are you head what out the, the fuck, casket. dude? Then Dio says, Happy honeymoon, nigga. Hey, hey, first off, I just want to give my congratulations, even though I did steal your girl's first kiss. Congratulations, my bad. I couldn't make the wedding, but I knew I would have been your best man, right? Tell me, tell me something <laughs> real quick. How my lips taste? So, bro, laser beams this man, turns everybody on this ship into zombies, what? and ends up Dude. jacking this man's body. And he rested at the bottom of the ocean. He took Jonathan's for years, body? Yeah. 1889 to 1983. So, yeah, what? Wow. Time to move on to exhibit B. This is too much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you His laser exhibit eyes. B, Dio. So after Dio came out of his casket in 1983, this is when he took stuff to the next level. Bro was on his Kanye arc. Nigga dropped off his last name and said, you will know me as capital D, capital I, capital O. Mans was going around beating cheeks, beat some cheeks made Jorno, beat some old cheeks, had Bruh. three other ugly ass kids with Jonathan's body and he would just drink their blood after he finished beating their cheeks then he ended up meeting what? poochie his hating ass successor passed down his hating ass ideology to this nigga, got his stand from Inya the hags ugly ass and yo this man was just so mysterious at the beginning of stardust crusaders you ain't even see his face till like 45 episodes later everybody just what? had wow. stories of meeting him Avdol was like, yeah, yeah, I saw that nigga. I was walking up the stairs, right, and I saw this big motherfucker. He was licking his lips and shit. But I was like, hell no, nah, I ain't into that freaky shit, you feel me? So I jumped out the window and I hit the dash, bro. I was stepping. Then they ran into Polnareff. Polnareff was like, yeah, I remember that nigga. Yo, he brainwashed me and shit. Man, took me into this room and he had the gypsy ball and shit. Nigga was like, I can tell your future. <laughs> and he brainwashed this man Kakyoin too. But nah, nah, it's what he did to whole horse. While Dio was reading a book, this man really tried to pull a gun on him. Then when he's about to shoot him, Dio's like, are you positive you want to pull that trigger? Then bro teleports right behind uh -oh. him. And he was like, ooh la la, I liked how you pulled that gun out on me. We should do this more often. Dog had this man shaking in his boots. But when they finally get to Egypt after facing all the sub bosses, Polnareff ends up walking up on this staircase and finally finds Dio. So Dio's like, wow, congratulations, y'all made it. I mean, you down two people, but <laughs> congratulations. Hey, but I'll tell you this though. You walk up that step, you're dead. Take a step, I dare you. So he tries to climb it, but he keeps on climbing the same <laughs> stair over and over and over again. Dio's like, wow, what's wrong? You on 400 pink or some shit? You know what? While you struggle with your lag spikes, I'm going to sit in this chair that's conveniently here right over this staircase. Oh, no. So then everybody else finally ends up coming in. So Dio's like, mm, the sunlight, I must retreat. <laughs> what was that? What was that Did you exit? see it? It was like, what the fuck? I have to see that again. Sunlight, 
I must return. What the fuck? What the fuck, the what the fuck is they that? Climb this staircase and they see this casket. So Joseph's like, "Hey, ugly ass boy, open the casket." So he opens the casket and he sees himself in the casket. Oh. oh. So they like, "Oh shit!" Hey, jump up. Yo, the fact that this man Dio put this man in the casket like that. Man's killed him in the blink of an eye and shoved him in the That's casket. That's ridiculous. So, he could give him a scare. so they are running away. Like, ah, yes. This is crazy. The hunt begins. So later on, bro, walking down the street, and he's like, hmm, I like this car. So dog's like, hey, what you think you're doing, cuz? This car belongs to the senator. But he just breaks his arm and hops in the car. So then he looks at the senator, rips out his two front teeth, and he says, hmm, looks like you got a date with the tooth fairy tonight. Now get your ass in the front seat and drive. So while they driving, they hit a traffic jam. So the senator's like, yo, I can't drive. Then Dio says, uh, you know the sidewalk's wide open, right? Oh, oh my God. God. The sidewalk and Dio says, floor it. So he made this man run over all these people just to get out of a traffic jam. Jesus Christ. So he finally- Can he fly and shit? So well, can't, well, like, this is more fun, I guess. <laughs> on him, but Dio just looks at it. He's like, wow, so pretty. Get the shit out of my face. Get bro socks off. So while they keep on driving, he blows the senator through their car. Oh. So they end up dipping and going on top of the roof. So Dio follows them. So then Kakyoin sets up this trap. So he's like, ha ha, I have you now. So show me your standability. So Dio's like, I right, then witness true hatred. The what? He can stop time. So then Dio goes over to him and says, this is my standability. Zoratio. I can stop time and ratio anybody in the amount of mere <laughs> seconds. In just a blink of an eye, I could freeze your account and gain hundreds, no, thousands of likes before you even gain one. Now, I'm about to fist you. And no pause, <laughs> because we're already paused. Resume. Oh my oh. God. So Joseph was like, oh nah, what's the best thing I know how to do? Hit the jets and get the step. So while he's chasing <laughs> Joseph down, he ends up punching him off this roof. So Joseph sees Jotaro and he's like, oh my God, my nigga, do not come any closer. So then Dio sees him and he's like, mm, both of them at the same time. Time to end this mid-ass bloodline. So then Dio comes down and just starts walking towards him, smacking uh -oh. cats, smacking another animal, a mannequins. And he's like, hmm, I could only used to give one L at a time, but now I can give two. It'll oh, this eventually is crazy. be 10 to 20 to thousands. So I leave you with my parting gift. And with that, ratio. So then he looks at Jotaro Dude. and he's like, hmm. Your next little nigga. So Jotaro starts walking towards him. So he's like, huh? So you're approaching me? You trying to fall off like your granddaddy nigga? But he's like, nah, I got to get closer to you so I can beat the shit out your ass. <laughs> oh, okay. I like that. I like that energy. Confident. Nigga, get this fade. So they start boxing and Dio hits him with this nasty hook. And he's like, mm, that's what I used to hit your great great granddaddy with back in the day. Now catch this ratio. So they keep on scrapping, so Joe ends up punching him into this jewelry store. So while he's knocked out, he gets up and looks at the lady. He lost the leg? Hey, make oh. yourself useful and fetch me my leg. So she started to get scared, so he said, Bitch, hurry the f up and give me my goddamn leg. So he ends up killing her and taking her blood, and he's like, Not surprising. Oh, we just getting started, you overgrown man child. I hope you're ready for a knife party. So then bro ended up throwing all these knives at this man. Like, can somebody please tell me where this man was storing all of these <laughs> knives at? Like for real, like ain't no way that belt buckle handled all of those. So he ended up stabbing him. So while he's on the ground, Dio's like, hmm, I guess I'll just kill him with this road sign. But then Polnareff comes from the top rope. And then Dio just stops on me. He's like, oh, that tickled. Go ahead and move to the side for me. So then the cops pull up. But oh, like, this poor is guy. crazy. <laughs> so then he starts controlling the other cop. And he's like, I, right, I need you to aim right and precisely right there. So he makes him shoot him. And yo, this man is so determined to make sure that he is dead. He is lying on the ground trying to hear a heartbeat. Bro's like, I'm yo, what? Take a breath. But you know what? Just to make sure, 
I'm gonna chop off his head with this rope. No but way! He ended up cracking him upside the head. Holy shit! And he hit him so hard he can't even move his legs. Oh, oh wow! Oh, God. No, I gotta go. So he ends up stopping time and hanging on to the back. <laughs> <of his head. laughs> this guy is the best exit. <laughs> Right uh, so then he ends up sitting in Dio flying, but then this man Dio starts screaming at him. He's like, ha -ha, you fool, you fell for my trap. Don't you remember this same street? So we ended up punching him to the street that Joseph's body is at, and he ends up taking all of his blood. He sucked that man dry, pause, and now he's a weak <laughs> deal, and bro is a losing his mind. He's like, mm, yes, this glorious power is even giving me green lipstick. Oh, I can't wait to give you a big, fat, juicy kiss. So they start scrapping again, and Dio was just starting to go off the deep end now. I was like, this body is so juicy. Now run me my money, nigga. So Jotaro ends up going flying, so Dio's like, oh, shit. Oh, Jojo, what do you think you're doing, you sack of shit? Oh, my God. This is brutal. With this final attack, I will finally end your mid ass bloodline for good. The ratio! So then he comes down and he's like, hmm, I'm about to create the greatest meme in anime history. One L has passed, two L's have passed, three L's have passed. About? I think so. So we gotta be thinking, okay, yo, what is this man charging up? It's gotta be like a spirit bomb, a Rasengan, <laughs> a Getsuga, or I don't know what you're saying. No. This man does the unthinkable. Yeah, there's the truck. <laughs> this man dropped the steamroller. <laughs> the steamroller. Steamroller on him. Who in their right mind would think of this? Yeah, what the Bro said, fuck? Mm, I could end his life with anything right now. <laughs> you know what I want to do? I'm going to fly over to this construction site. Grab this big ass steamroller. Fly it all the way back. <laughs> And slam it on this <laughs> What? Then that is just doing the most. So then he starts beating. And for the longest time, for all these years, I thought, yo, he's beating the hell out of this with his fist. No, no, take a closer look. He is beating this with his elbows. elbows. Oh elbow my god. So then he's like, it's no use. You fell off. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I finally done it after all these long years. <laughs> ratio power! I have finally ratioed the entire fucking Joestar family. <laughs> all you bitch ass niggas fell the fuck off. <laughs> My ratio power has now exceeded to nine L's. But then Dio ends up realizing he can't move. Oh. Because oh. Jotaro just stopped time. It was like impossible. What? Yo, bullshit. So then he ends up kicking him off the steamroller. So then they end up having one final clash. But then Jotaro hit him with a counter ratio. Uh oh. <laughs> then he says, you know, man, there's only one reason why you lost. You just simply pissed me off. Get off my family, dick. So yeah, oh, uh, I mean, I'm wow. already sat the base, wow. so what more could I say? I mean, I could get into some of the stuff that happens in part six, but that would be getting into spoilers for anime only. So I'm not going to do all that. But uh, yeah, bro, this man is a menace. This is a demon incarnate. That's man crazy. tormented this family for a damn near 100 mm -hmm. years, made a lady eat her own child. That's and next along level. with dropping a steamroller <laughs> on it. Steamroller? No, pack your bags. Bro, pass this test with ease. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, I forgot to record the outro, so I'll just leave y'all with this. <laughs> oh that was crazy. He should be the president of the fucking Black Air Force. I don't know, I think Kid Boo still has it. Mm. I mean, you know, he was like, oh, I'm gonna have this woman eat her own child. Yeah. But Kid Boo was like, I'm just gonna erase everyone <laughs> and then go to heaven and kill more people. Yeah, I, I guess you got a point there. <laughs> there is, um... So we watched Alucard's, mm -hmm. and there is a death battle between Dio and Alucard. Oh, wow. So maybe we'll check that out. Okay, yeah. But I love... <laughs> I think my money's on Dio. I mean, I just... He wouldn't stop. He killed everybody that he wanted to because he could. He, I mean, like, had no fight until that last guy. Yeah, he was just like... I mean, granted, Alucard can take tons of bullets and not die. That's true. So, like, true. I don't know. 
but it's still funny. His exits, it's just like, oh, the sun. Woo! He's just like, <laughs> he's a weird, you like, I'm a spin. <laughs> Goodbye. Hold on to the car. Not, then the car is hilarious. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to stop time, grab all this car, and then the car is going to drag me the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Absurd. Well, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments, and we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, see ya. Bye.